yes my people them back again with another banging video listen guys i hate to be following trends i hate to to be this guy but i feel like i still have some more to clear up in the air about andrew tate he had an interview with piers morgan and i was like i have to rec i literally have to react to this video i'm a christian i believe in god i believe in jesus and i believe that he can set us free I I have very, should I say, balanced views on how I perceive Andrew Tate. Yes, he's come on this, this television show. A lot of millions of viewers watching it, judging him, making their own perception of him. Personally, I respect anyone chasing the bag. He's been recently banned on youtube and other platforms for saying very crazy things <laughs> and you can't blame the kid i mean when you have money and a lot of influence and power it starts to get to your head let's just get straight into it guys let's get straight into this video Andrew Tate's the most famous man you've probably never heard of, but the chances are your children will have. Videos of Tate have been viewed billions of times online. He's built an enormous following of mostly young men, and it's often scandalous views about women that have made him notorious across the world. Views like this. So I think my sister is my her husband's property, yes. When a bride is walking down the aisle to marry the groom, the father walks next to her and gives her away, true or false. Tate's opinions on mental illness are equally controversial. I don't believe in depression. Don't message me about depression because I don't believe in it. If you're asleep in your bed in the middle of the night and you hear a noise and you believe in ghosts, now you're afraid. But if you don't believe in ghosts, ah, it's the wind and you go back to sleep. You give the ghosts power by believing in them. Well, there's some every major social media platform. <laughs> Let's just clear this out of the way. Whatever he said about ghosts and depression, those are two very unrelated topics. Like you can't you can't say, oh, just because someone believes in something that it's not still there, physically there. People literally are being like like doused in depression. You can't just get rid of that. You can't you can't just get rid of depression if you have it. It will take some time, but you can't just think like, just think in your head, oh, the depression's gone and it's gone. Like, but fair enough. I guess he's just pulling up some articles. I mean, I believe that Andrew Tay is much wiser now. Like I said, I'm not defending him or anything. I'm not on anyone's side. Just looking from the outside with him. Ban Tate amid a global backlash of concerns about his influence on the young people who watch him. But copies of his videos are still shared millions of times every day. This show is called Uncensored. One of the challenges views directly. So he flew from Romania to sit here in this studio and the full explosive interview airs later this week. Here's a bit of what has come. Do you respect women? Absolutely. Why wouldn't I? Do you think that 18, 19 year old women are more attractive than 25 year old women? I think there's attractive people. Uh... That's that's a loaded question. I don't know. Well, it's not really, is it? I, I can't. You know sit, why I'm asking you? Of course I do, but I can't sit well, here and for say. For the benefit of viewers who don't know why I'm asking, you said this. In general, this is also one of the reasons men find youth attractive. You want to block the internet? I'll block the internet right effing now. The reason 18 and 19 year olds are more attractive than 25 year olds is because they've been through less dick. People say, oh, you can't say that, but yes, I can. A 19-year-old is more attractive than a 26-year-old woman, and I'll tell you why, because that 26-year-old has talked to more guys, been to the club more times, been effed and dumped more times, more arguments, more mess, more for me to clean up. That is misogyny. Why? <laughs> I'll be real. What he said was crazy, like, already. I mean, personally... I feel like Piers Morgan is definitely attacking him. He's very, he's very dominant with what he's trying to to portray to convey, and for every re he has every reason to do so. But um, yeah, I I see where Andrew Tate is going with this. Very, it is a wild comment to make. I've made very wild comments, and I know you probably have as well. 
But um, yeah, saying something like that is a bit crazy. It's a bit bewildering. If you don't know what that is, search it up. <laughs> because you are encouraging a mindset about 25 year old women that makes them sound out to be infinitely less desirable than 18, 19 year olds and having effectively been having too much sex to be taken in a more respectful way. That would, well, firstly, even if that was the case, that wouldn't be misogyny. But what did you mean by what you said? That's not misogyny because it's not anti-women. I'm, I'm saying that an 18 or a 19-year-old woman would be more desirable. It's pretty anti-25-year-old woman. Anti-25-year-old women, we can argue, but not misogyny. Well, that's misogyny, let's, though, let's, it? No, 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 it's well, not. Being anti-any woman at all is misogyny. Not when, I'm, not when I'm saying that women are beautiful and attractive. <laughs> like, right now, it seems like he's crumbling. I mean, obviously, this is just a preview. The interview was like an hour long, but like based on what I'm I'm seeing already, it's like like you've got to really you've got to ask him like you've got to call into question because you got to think. Piers Morgan is taking his perspective from what he's seen online. I don't think. Besides this interview, Piers Morgan has ever met Andrew Tate, ever. So he's going based on what he's seen online and also obviously what he's being accused of and et cetera, et cetera. What he said, what Andrew Tate said, I mean, that's, that's crazy. But because <laughs> you can't just generalize like that. You can't just generalize everyone, what they've been through, et cetera, et cetera. Yes, there is some truth behind what he says. The older you get, the more liable you are to being more open about your your sexual experiences. However, on the other hand, I also believe that like just saying it once you've passed this age or like comparing the difference between the two ages, it's like that's stupid. You can't you can't just say, Oh, because this person's younger, they're less like I know girls that have been doing crazy stuff at 18. I also know 25 year old virgins. Personally, I like older women because they're more mature. Women my age are, see, I, this, would be, <laughs> this would be a crazy controversial thing to say, but I believe that women older than me are more mature. This is the reason I'm more attracted to them. Let's just push aside younger girls because there's no point of me even speaking on them because I can't speak on them I can only speak on what I like but yeah the statement he made was very controversial if anything close to being misogynistic as well close to but I feel like Piers is he's not really being definitive about what he's saying at a certain age and saying the age you're saying 18 age. 19 years are more attractive than 25 well, than ageist perhaps but misogynistic absolutely is that not. Really, but you just accepted it was misogyny no i didn't you said it was misogyny i'm telling you no it's not but if a 26 year old woman is watching this and has heard those comments yeah would you just say to her I, look i'm sorry i shouldn't have said that no i won't i will say that i am sorry that that offends you however there's a large contingent of the world <laughs> when piers morgan asks him that question would you like, would you apologize? Would you say sorry for, for what you said? He, he, he knew he was going to say no. Of course, he's, he's going to stay, but he's going to stand by his word. And if he doesn't, he's going to seem like a lunatic. Well, I mean, the statement he made was quite, I, I guess, obviously what he said was to try get more views. He literally said it before stating what he said. But I believe that Piers Morgan's definitely trying to, he's trying to like, to win a case to like, to make Andrew Tate look stupid. And let's, I'm not a fan of Andrew Tate. I'm not a fan of Piers Morgan. So this is very balanced from my, from my own perspective. I'm, I'm giving a very, a very balanced view from my side of things. But yeah, let's just, let's, I don't get, let's keep listening. World. That doesn't and, mean you're sorry. Uh, no, I'm not sorry. That's the point I'm making. I'm sorry if that offends you. However, there's a large contingent of the world that believe that, and I was mediating for a conversation. Parts of the world that believe that about 26-year-old women are parts of the world where women are not allowed out on their own. That's your... That's I want to know. I want to know. What part of the world are women not allowed out? <laughs> I actually want to know that. What part of the world...
In Piers Morgan's eyes, are women not allowed out? Because where I'm living currently, like women are allowed to go out. So I, personally, I don't know. But it's a conversation they have to now. wear full burkas. Well, that's a conversation. They're not now. allowed to drive cars. That's nothing to do with me. But is that the kind of world for a woman that you I was mediating. A, I was mediating a conversation. No, I'm asking you what you think. I, I don't live in a country where that happens. You're using that as the excuse for why you're not sorry for saying it. It's not an excuse. Is that there are parts of the world where this is fine? My friend. So my question to you is, well, do you think it's fine? I don't think it's fine. Okay. I... <laughs> Personally, if I was on... If I was on a show like this, I definitely... My approach would be very, very different. You've come onto this show, let's say... Andrew Tate has come onto this show. He already knows he's going to get slandered for, for whatever reason. Obviously, the things he said and the things he does. Any accusations being made on him, he doesn't need to he doesn't need to be too defensive. I think when you're too defensive about something they're trying to convey onto you. It's almost like you you are truly doing these things, like you truly are in the wrong. Maybe 50-50, because I don't know. I I personally, from what he said, I, I don't completely agree. But at the same time, it's not like completely wrong, if you get what I'm saying. But from what I'm seeing, he could have taken things into a better light. He could have said like, in in what parts of the world do our women not allowed out? Define define misogyny to me. Def what is your your own definition of misogyny? He should have asked that question, and then Piers Morgan would have been like, misogyny is slandering, or anything that goes against, or a statement made against women that is negative. And then you could break it down into smaller, smaller segments. But the way it seems right now, it just seems like Piers Morgan is making a lot of preemptive statements and Andrew Tate is almost falling for it. I mean, he's, he's making strong, strong points as well, but he's, he's, he could make stronger points. He's falling into the trap almost, almost. That's how I see it from now. So I'm not too sure. It's fine. I live in a world where you don't think it's fine. My the reason this I... isn't that hard, Andrew. You can simply say, "Beers." You know what? With the benefit of hindsight, I wish I hadn't said it like that. And if a twenty-six-year-old woman is watching, I'm sorry I said that because that actually is blatantly misogynist. And even though that's a view held by other parts of the world, it's not a view I share. Now, I would respect you more if you said that yeah. than if you try and say, "Well, it's said in other parts of the world," so I'm not sorry. I think you that need... doesn't tell me what you think. Then you need to understand why my content existed in the first place. My content existed because I tried my very hardest to be an absolute and not a realist, especially with uncomfortable truths. Mm. I was pointing out that very uncomfortable truth. Is that a truth? Though? It's an uncomfortable truth in many parts of the world. It's not a truth that I'm happy about. An inquest this week found that a 14-year-old girl, Molly Russell, died from an act of... Okay, so... I feel like he's he's gone... I feel like this is a very edited video, so they've changed. But from, from what... I'm going to go back. Let me just go back to what he said. I was pointing out that very uncomfortable... Is that a truth? Though? It's an uncomfortable truth in many parts of the world. It's not a truth that I'm happy about. An inquest this week... A truth. Oh, OK, sorry, my bad. ...said in other parts of the world... ...chair. Now, I would respect you more if you said that... Yeah. ...than if you try and say, well, it's said in other parts of the world, so I'm not sorry. I think... <laughs> I feel like Piers Morgan's very heated right now, in the moment. And he's barely like less. He's barely listening. He's not. It's not like a one-on-one -on -one conversation. It's more like I'm here to slander you. You're gonna sit here and listen to it, and this interview is gonna be done. That's that's the way it seems to me right now. Cause, I mean, Andrew Tate is holding himself very well. Personally, I don't really have. I mean, I disagree with a lot of things Andrew Tate says. Because he's not really educating the, the youth. But then again, most of social media aren't really educating the youth as well. And also he is he's literally on a he's literally on a TV show that a lot of people are going to watch. So 
he has to be mindful of what he says. I mean, even though he's very, he's very, uh, he, he agrees heavily with what he says. He has a strong conviction with what he's, he's relaying onto us and also to Piers Morgan. So I feel like he's standing firm on, on his, on his truth. So touche to him, but personally, <laughs> I mean, the title literally says Tate defends himself against Piers Morgan. So you can tell Piers Morgan is bashing him at this point. Thank you. That need... doesn't tell me what you think. Then you need to understand why my content existed in the first place. With uncomfortable truths. Mm. I was pointing out that very uncomfortable truth. Is that a truth? Though? It's an uncomfortable truth in many parts of the world. It's not a truth that I'm happy about. An inquest this week found that a 14-year-old girl, Molly Russell, died from an act of self-harm while suffering from depression and the negative effects of online content. The coroner said she was exposed to material that may have influenced her in a negative way, and in addition, what started as depression had become a much more serious depressive illness, and she very sadly took her life. That's, that's absolutely disgusting. Right. Her father... That's terrible. Her father's campaign for better protections against potentially dangerous social media algorithms, right? It says that the particularly graphic content she saw romanticised acts of self-harm, normalised her condition, and focused on a limited and irrational view without... An, an, all right, so I've... any counterbalance of normality. First of all, what is your response to that? Nothing to do with you. I'm yeah, just asking just, what your response that's is. the first thing. Yeah, it's, it is nothing to do with me. He got baited in. He got baited in again and again, making him look bad in the public eye. I don't know why Piers Morgan had to say that. I mean, obviously, it has nothing to do with him, but. Why reinstate that? Why reinstate that? Yes, it has nothing. Yeah, it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> it's like they're trying to make him look bad. If someone, if you was in an interview and someone asked you, or oh, someone, someone took their life and from watching harmful content, would the first thing you say be, yeah, this had nothing to do with me? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, personally, it's not a laughing matter. This is a very serious, a detrimental issue. But I would firstly, I would pay my homage to the parents. I would, I would pay my homage and also try to educate the kids at home. I would be very sincere and sorrowful because that's the type of person I am. But I guess me and Andrew Tay are different. We're different human beings. He obviously has his own ideologies. But let's hear what he has to say. Uh, the fact that a 14-year-old girl took her life is truly sad. The world we live in today is... The world we live in... The, the fact that something like that happened is almost mind-blowing to me. That's truly, that's truly sad. I actually feel sad inside to see something like that. What has come clear to me in the interview is that a lot of things you say you wouldn't say now that you've said before... But I'd say them differently, perhaps. You, you, yeah, right. So... To me, that's an acceptance, not just that you want to get back on platforms, because maybe that was one of the reasons you, you were no platform, but that you've recognised and understood the potential harm to the wrong kind of impressionable mind by some of the things you've said. Would that be fair? I think that's 80% fair. I recognise and understand that with massive fame, you have to be more careful about being mis construed. Like I said earlier, 1% of people misunderstanding you doesn't matter with a small audience. It matters with a very large audience. With power comes responsibility. Mm. I still believe the things I say. I do not want to be a negative force for the world. I also understand that I am a man who's lived a very difficult, nuanced life, and I am capable of making nuanced points that may be misunderstood by teenagers. However, that can be said about anybody and everything. Every opinion online can be misunderstood by children. Trying to protect children from the internet is a very interesting subject in and of itself because I would argue that 80% of the content on the internet is can be negative or detrimental to a young mind that doesn't understand the world. So I don't know why it just ended like that, but um, he made a strong point at the end. Personally, guys, personally, guys, I just, I believe that, like, yeah. what can I say, like, what can I say, guys? <laughs> I can't judge the kid. He's making his own money. He's just trying to get... He's trying to probably... He's gained so much popularity. The fact that they even banned him just brought him more popularity. But I'm going to end the video here, guys. It's been your boy, Paul Kadar.
Love you guys all. Take care. And we out.